Hello, I'm Jacqueline Laflamme from JacquelineLaflamme.com. I'm here on behalf of the Broward Art Guild. In this clip, I'm going to show you how to use acrylic paint on canvas. I'm starting off with a blank canvas here, which has already been primed and gessoed. So a, thin, a coat of gesso has been applied to this so that it closes up all the pores in the canvas. And now we're ready to paint. I recommend that we always start off painting the background first. I like to use a big brush for backgrounds and just nice, long, broad strokes. Depending on what you're doing, whether you're doing a beach scene, a, su a skyline, a seascape, just work the paint into the background. It's always nice to use big brushes to do that and you can get things done quicker and you can just blend the colors. There's a lot of different techniques that you can use and there's varying degrees of the way that you can use the paint. You can use it very thick out of the tube so that you get a nice opaque finish or it can be very very watery, watered down and used more like more like a watercolor. If you want to get special effects you can use brushes like this if you were painting an ocean or something and you can just clouds. You can use your brushes to get all sorts of different effects and just get things going really quickly. So just with a few strokes you can get a cloud shape made in. And then if you like you can take smaller brushes and start working in little details. This per personally is my personal favorite and just go around and get all sorts of different details. Sometimes it's just nice to let loose and just paint and let your imagination take over what you want to do and just let the paint guide you in the direction of the painting. It's sometimes it's just nice and free not to have any preconceived ideas and just feel what you're doing and then go back and you can look at the shapes and see wow this looks like this or this looks like that or this looks like a fish and then you can start working different things in different areas and sometimes it's nice just to move from one area of the canvas and then just dip your brush and go to another area and just start to lay in the color in the background and just let your imagination flow and be free and see what happens. This is Jacqueline Laflamme. Thank you for watching.